Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for you all. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If there's anything that you would like to know in regards to how to get a reading from me, please do check the description box below for the information on how to get in contact with me. Also, if you guys have gotten a reading from me recently, thank you guys so much for your love and support. I really do appreciate it. And um, I, I just can't say that enough. Thank you guys so much for your love and support, okay? So, the first thing that I heard before I even got cards that flew out was the word sublingual. And the word sublingual is someone that is given medication under the tongue. Then, when I started shuffling the cards and meditating on the energy, I see these two cards flip up. There's a female that is a runner. Oh no. There's a female runner. Can't see it. There's a female runner in your energy that's looking up information about you. Whoever this female is, you could know her, you could not. She could be an ex friend or family member to you, but whoever she is, it looks like she knows a lot about you through your children. Or if she does have any contact with your children, she will be trying to get information out of your children about you. It seems here from what I see under the this card that showed up is someone here that's relative to a past person that you dealt with is this female energy okay someone here may have sent this individual or this person just has a rage for wanting to clip you delete you or whatever the case may be i'm hearing here um this person doesn't like you because this person of yours from your past wants to come back it seems like, or they may have got some intel on where this person might go. So their next hit is you, okay? Now, I also do have secret love child, hidden story, but it's in this energy. So there are some type of inconclusive details of um, either them thinking that there, you, you two share a secret love child and you having to defend yourself, your business, who you are as a person because of it. I'm going to go in with my tarot deck to see why the secret love child and defending your, your brand or your business. Someone's trying to take you down by saying that you may have ruined a, a friendship, relationship, or whatever the situation may be between these two. I'm getting 10 of wands in the cross energy with the seven of wands and the two of pentacles, okay? Whoever this masculine energy is that they're fighting you over or, or trying to and you're not even dealing with this individual anymore, this person is a public figure or someone that's in the public eye, okay? Hmm. So this person could very well be a fire sign or a fire sign with earth element in their chart, okay? Whoever this person is, with what I see here, someone is not quite over some type of secret love child, whether the child is, is born or not, whatever the case may be. They're trying to put some puzzle pieces together here. This is crazy. So it looks like there's something chaotic or problematic going on with a earth sign and a fire sign. It looks like here, this could be an ex-coworker or 
someone that may have worked alongside this individual from your past. Hmm. We have the three of wands and the moon. Okay. So what I'm getting here is there was a feminine energy that may have told their friend or something like that about what's going on or may have spent the night at their, their friend's house. We have wands here in reverse. Someone's been telling their friend about a really tough time that they're having with their individual, okay? I'm hearing that this tough time was about someone that was stuck on something or wouldn't change their, their state or frame of mind. Someone, it's like whoever this person is, this feminine that's running or on the run looking for you, this individual may have told this masculine energy to stop indulging in that energy with you, that they'll never have the Ten of Wands with you, but they never listened. They always had high hopes of coming back to you or going towards someone else that they've dealt with. This person wasn't loyal, okay? This person was very disloyal, couldn't keep their end of the bargain or their word. When it came to promises, you couldn't count on this person, whoever this masculine energy was. Yeah, this person had nothing to offer but broken promises. And that's why you had to drape them up with your, your words because it seemed like, you know, they didn't know who they were dealing with, okay? You had to shut them out and show you show them who you were, okay? All right. I'm going to put these away now. I just want to clarify that. Let's see what else was going on. So we have your career, Virgo. Your career is very important to you. You found your calling where you need to be. I'm also hearing you know exactly where you're going because you have a plan. I'm also seeing Neptune. We did get this card at the bottom of the deck earlier as well. It says inspire others with what you do, what your true calling or destiny is. Be prepared to sacrifice the road to success, the road to achievement, the road to recovery, the road to love, okay? Yield is the only way to your career. So taking precautions is the only way that you're going to meet that road that you're trying to be on here. I'm gonna put this off to the side. I'm gonna go back to my oracles. So this is very interesting. Spirit, Holy Spirit, tap me into Virgo's energy to see what's going on at this current time. Can we elaborate on what's going on with this female that's running? We have transparency. Someone doesn't see something as black and white. It's kind of gray. There's a gray area here. I'm hearing that the gray area is that the person that they're dealing with or that they thought they were in a relationship with whatever the case may be here, their person is afraid to admit that there is love that's lingering somewhere else. Someone may have also sent a nude to you or you to them. Okay, so we have not letting up or giving in. Hmm. Someone's gonna keep pressing a certain issue, trying to get information from your girlfriends, or whoever is close to you, someone's not on their medication. So whoever this, this feminine energy is, she's supposed to be medicating, okay? And she's not. She has a criminal record or background here. That's why I see murder, okay? There are some intimacy issues that this person is suffering from. Someone has a UTI or they're infertile. I've talked about this in 
many of my readings before. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then go and watch. We have messy boots, water sign, message, message sent to the wrong person. Okay, so the last card is, I regret the choices that I have made. It has caused a lot of issues in my life. And then we have not signing divorce papers. Okay, so divorce papers may have gotten into the mix of this whole situation. Someone feels like you have a, a hidden agenda or having something to do with not signing the papers. Someone's trying to get you out of the way. They feel like, you know, they got to tie up these loose ends. Okay. It says, got company mixed up with the wrong people. We have 999. Wow. So the Karmix friends are also in this here. And we have cleaning service. So the Karmix friends are going to be used to clean up the mess that they're, they're trying to make. Okay? Something about a female cousin who could be a fire sign. I'm also getting sexually fluid. Whoever this person is, or whoever your person was dealing with, they're also sexually fluid, okay? Spirit is saying, let's go for this. What's going on for Virgo? Look, there are forces that are working against you here. There are unsettling times that you need to plan ahead for with this caterpillar energy at the bottom of the deck. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. But if you are ever going out on the road or you do have anything to do, please look around and pay attention to your surroundings. But your wish will be granted. Show me more here for Virgos. Someone has put a hit on you and it is allowing their friends to secondhandedly, you know, be on on it with this, this situation or with this person. We have handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Okay? Do not back down from opposition. Someone's going to come in as the bully. Whoever you're shaking hands with, this person is in on it too. But this person's intent or whatever it is that they're going to do will result in their karma. So let them try. Let them try here. We have a vase. So you have a secret admirer in your energy as well. Whoever this is, this is a man. They are looking to uh, take over or be in your energy or allow things to be positive. Show me more here. Okay, so we have a pig. Someone wants money. Someone wants something. Looks like a romantic endeavor as well. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. We have romances in the air. And then we see increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Hmm. So there's something that you're currently working on as well here. Someone is definitely dealing with their shadow side. It could be a masculine. It could be a masculine energy that is just really vulnerable at this time. Show me more here. Okay, so there's a broken contract. You're breaking a contract because of the things that may have been done in the past that you have a vivid memory of. I'm seeing external. So there's a third party that uses her beauty, her passion. This could be a water sign, as I said before. This person uses their...
This person uses their beauty and their appearance to get whatever it is that they want. Okay? We have disharmony. There is the disharmony between a water sign and someone having a divine purpose to give you or another person an offer. I just leave it there because I don't know if this person is actually coming in your direction or going somewhere else, but it looks like if this is in your energy or I'm talking about it, this has something to do with you. Okay, or you're gonna be tied in some way somehow. I can't control what comes out. I can only lay out the cards and read them as they show. Someone here wants to try to resist the decision of having to make one. Someone here doesn't like making a choice or being very direct. And that's why they do what they do. Someone's all about themselves. Hmm. What's showing up for Virgo Holy Spirit? What does Virgo need to know? Okay, so we have good gentlemen in reverse. Number five. A change showing up in the upright, number nine. And we also have work and occupation in reverse. Okay, so the colors yellow and pink could be significant here. On the bottom of the deck, we have a long way. So someone could be traveling or on a journey here. Someone could be driving as well. I'm also seeing someone could be on vacation. When I see this balloon, this also talks about spiritual ascension, knowledge, understanding, you know, upheaval, things taking a turn for the better. So it looks like someone realizes that they need to make changes. Whoever this person is could have taken the role of being the bad gentleman in the present. I'm also seeing this is someone that's unemployed or not working right now. I'm also seeing theft. Someone may steal stuff or break hearts. Yeah, I'm hearing that this person doesn't have anybody special in their life, but they have meetings with different people that they're interested in. That's the energy. Someone here may be taking something from you and giving it or taking something from another place to bring it to you or however you want to see it. You're not going to expect this person to come back here. I'm hearing that whatever this is that they're coming to you with isn't worth anything. I'm hearing something about something being used or someone feeling used. It's just so crazy how I seen or heard the energy sublingual. And I'm wondering what the heck is going on. Before any cards were pulled, I just heard sublingual. And I'm like, what does this have to do with my reading? And then pulling the cards, it's like, it makes sense. And then I had two cards confirm what that sublingual energy was about. Whoever this crazy chick is, she better back the fuck up off of you. That's what I know. Anyway. And don't let this person come back to you with no stolen goods trying to give it to you as a gift for you to get caught with it. They scrambling right now, number 29. Something is unstable here. Someone is being told to breathe. Someone could be having chest 
spasms or whatever the case may be. Hmm. Someone could be born on the 29th of September or the 11th. I'm also seeing the 18th and number four. We have serendipity in reverse as well as higher power in reverse. So don't let this person come and breathe in your face. This person is like non-compliant. They're gonna be belligerent. I don't know if they're drunk, but they are gonna be belligerent. This person is just doing too much or they have too much going on, okay? Is this person, this is someone that you have an unfinished business with. I'm also seeing time to go. Time to go. Number 45. Time's up for this person. Number 34, someone could be 34 years old. Someone here could just be figuring out what they want to do with their life or a task at hand. This could be a project, a work situation, a concert I'm hearing. We have a leg up. Hmm. Someone needs your help or you're going to be requesting someone else's help here. There's something that you don't know or don't quite understand. So your, your kids may even need your help here for some of you. Someone needs your help to understand how they can win you win your heart back over. Yep, someone wants to understand how you guys can come as, you know, being one person, one unit. What else is showing up here? Yeah, this person has to right their wrongs and do it the right way. No funny business. Someone could also be 35 years old. I'm hearing that song um, by Latoya Luckett, Torn. Free yourself is what spirit says. It's time to take back control of your life. Do not linger in this codependent energy, okay? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Pay attention to the red flags because the signs are cautioning you. I remember I did say something about seeing a flash of red. I think I said it in my reading earlier. Or was it on my collective read side? I'm not really sure. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you may be trying to get to know someone or you have, and now you need to pay attention to the red flags. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So no, there is someone in your energy field that you need to express your, your desires or what you need or expect from them at this time. This could already be someone that you've crossed paths with or that you know. And Spirit is saying that you need to make the effort because it is safe for you to love. Anything else for my Virgos? I did see child in reverse. Someone may have lost a child or not seen a child in a long time. This child could be a little bit older if there is a child involved. Okay, so we have concern number 33. Someone is concerned because of, you know, a non-expectation from a feminine's point of view. Someone hasn't seen this individual since um, something has been dismissed from court. Okay, I'm hearing that someone honors you, trusts you, respects you. But when it comes to money, you may not 
do the right things with your money or this person may not know where your money goes somebody's counting your money here could be this main female somebody waiting around for money is that what this running this runner feminine wants from you Now this could be anyone, like I said, this could be a mother figure, this could be a friend, this could be a stranger, this could be anyone. Now this main female has no reason to be on alert or cautious about anything just because, you know, someone's one phone call away from something. I'm hearing expect the unexpected. There's a wealthy man that's going to be showing up to see a main female from the past. For someone here that may have passed on, may be presenting themselves to this feminine energy. It could have been this wealthy man. This female could have um, deleted a wealthy man for his money. Okay? This could also be a father figure. This father figure, if it is a father figure, um, this could have been a stepfather. Is what I'm getting here. Hmm. But it's like, if this main female that's in your energy lost a father, He can only appear to her because of the destruction that she's causing or facing around her. This could be you, okay? Someone's going to be put in check in the spiritual realm here. That's what I'm getting. Someone wants this individual to cut it out. How much more do you have to lose? How much more of your blessings do you have to lose? to stop doing what you're doing here. That's what I'm getting. You're about to get a call about, you know, winning the lottery or getting some type of big check here. We have coach. Coach is in reverse. Someone didn't show up to a class, a lesson, or um, is taking advice. Someone isn't taking advice from someone. They'd rather see things through on their own. Okay. So I'm gonna take this one. Like I said, this female energy is not you. This is the bully here. This bully is trying to bully your, your children or trying to intimidate your children. But your children are highly protected, and so are you. There's something that you're ready for. Your ancestors and your guides are gearing up to get ready to fight your battles for you because they love you so much. Okay? Somebody better get themselves prepared for coming towards you like this. Someone may have to dip into their savings to take care of some things that may seem like a headache to them. But this is what you prepared yourself for. Someone that has an entity attachment to them wants to come in to disturb your peace. Anything else? Anything else for my Virgo? We have accident and enemy or third wheel. So there's a third party that's purposely trying to um, cause friction in your your marketplace or whatever it is that you do for work. Someone's trying to destroy your life here. 
basically. And if it's not about your marketplace or whatever it is that you do for work or trying to start a business for yourself, it's ruining your life at, on a whole, trying to make things hard for you because you got it all. This is a heavy reading, y'all. I wasn't expecting this energy, but I'm like, after that relaxing shower, let's see. <laughs> well, let's just see what's going on in Virgo's energy. And then this comes, but you know what? These readings that are due are not just what's going on in the present. This could have been something that happened in the past or that's shortly coming up. So it's always good to know what's going on here. Someone here is a bona fide freak or is trying to turn you out here. Yep. So there's confirmation right there. Your spirit guides are trying to warn you about a person that's trying to come in to threaten your life here. This could be an ex-co-worker as well. We have monitoring spirits. So I'm getting that these people are watching, always monitoring you. We have repetition. So this is someone that you need to cut off ASAP. If you have no dealings with them, then that's fine. But you need to stop making certain things private because someone here Someone here is just going to be sorry that they didn't leave the past in the past or allowed something to die down. Yep, like I said, female karmic energy. Mm. Okay. What does spirit want to tell you? I don't even want to be in this energy for too long. What does spirit want to tell you? What's the advice? What is it that, ooh, so spirit is saying that, you know, they're gonna make some, some judgment calls for you. This is like non-negotiable because This is only for your protection here. Someone is unwilling to let something go. But Spirit is saying, even though this is happening, remain positive. Something could be taking place a year from now. That may not need rec uh, reconsideration. Okay, so it looks like something is already being mapped out for you a year from now. So mark your calendar from the date that you watch this video. Something is going to take place in 2024 on the 17th of March. That may not require you to make any sudden decision that's already made for you. You just got to step into it now. Hmm. All right, collectives. So we have healing, inner child. And we also have action in reverse, as well as, whoops. as well as the relax card. I'm getting that you need to go back and do some shadow work that's required of you. Or this could be someone within your energy field. Or this could be a mutual energy. 
someone is backing down from taking action towards you because of how you handle a situation and how well you were able to trust your guides. And you didn't even need to call for help. We have temptation in reverse. So I'm getting here that you're not tempted to report anything because you don't have a spirit of fear. Someone is being telepathically risen to their truth about their toxic influences. Someone does not want to allow their bad influences to get in the way of um, having another chance at life, at love. Someone needs to quit overthinking here because someone is ready to redeem themselves. Someone is willing to let go of fear to grab a hold of unconditional love. Let's see what's going on here. So we have only an intervention can help them or an involuntary admission. I'm not surprised that came out. Childhood issues they thought they fixed, but they did not. That just came out as well. So thank you, Holy Spirit, for those confirmations. Can I get one more? Can I get one more, Holy Spirit? What does Virgo need to know? So it says it's time to party and celebrate, okay? I haven't seen that card since I've got these cards. At the bottom of the deck it says, they be they actually believe their own lies and swear it's the truth. So whatever this person is doing, they're trying to create um, a thing where they, they want you to feel bad for something that they've done or that was their fault. They want to place the blame on you to make themselves feel better. Okay? We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Someone's going to end up taking home the bacon or the cake by themselves. Someone is, is going to stand tall to actually say that they've made it by themselves. Whoever this person is, they're saying that you didn't you didn't lift a finger to do anything for them. But little did they know you did much more that didn't even require money or monetary value. All they see is monetary value. They will be sorry. They will be the one that, that bites their tongue here. Okay? Because you know more than they know. And knowledge is power. So stay ahead. Go ahead and think that money is everything. Virgo, what does your spirit guides want you to know at this time? What does your spirit guides want you to know at this present time? So we have number 44. You can't go back to yesterday. Okay, be in the present. At the bottom of the deck, we have number 36. 3 plus 6 is 9. So it says shine bright like a candle. You will make it through this. This was a lesson that you needed to learn. Whether you needed to learn the hard way or the easy way. What else is showing up for Virgo? Okay, so we have a son. Your son is watched over and protected as he explores his world. And we also have birthday. So a significant birthday holds the answer to your question, okay? Someone could be moving out to a new home as well. If that is something that you're prepared to do, congratulations. Okay. Let's see if I can go into this read real quick. Because we already f almost 40 minutes in. 
What is it that we need to know? The death card, Scorpio energy. Someone here will not allow something to be in the past. Something is being brought or flared up from the past here. Someone will not accept no or it's over. Someone here feels like you're avoiding them or avoiding your feelings for them by moving on when they have feelings for you. King of Cups, Four of Swords. Yep, someone feels like you're letting them go. Like the journey is pretty much over because you are non-compliant to them, talking to you or whatever the case may be. Air energy. We have the King of Wands. Now someone wants to show you how much they care without, you know, coming towards you or making it known that they care about you here. Hmm. Okay. So someone here feels like there is some information that's being delayed to be told to them, but it's not really your job to tell anybody anything. Just exactly how I found out what I found out I'm going to allow you to find out certain things for yourself. Eight of Cups. I can't make this shit up. You in the public eye, right? You should be able to find stuff out really quickly. What's this Queen of Cups in reverse? There's a feminine energy that's really bitter. Whoever she is, she's a water sign. Someone is bitter because of what the hurt that she's been through. Someone may have been controlled or been lied to. I'm also getting this person could have been someone that they were seeing on the job or who they met through their job or whatever the case may be. Hmm. Someone's mad because it's not them. I'm hearing that song. I think it's by NSYNC. I think it's called Not For Me. Go ahead and look that up. Someone has made a judgment call to leave something behind because it was just becoming too much. Okay, also someone could have lied. Someone could have lied about something here. Yep, someone lied about being with someone else. And this is all this person could think about is distancing themselves from this individual since they committed those type of, I wouldn't say crimes, but committed ad adultery or whatever the case may be here with this three of cups, page of cups. Yeah, they could have been in direct contact with this individual many times, multiple times. And now the truth is out. So it seems like, meanwhile, this feminine energy was coming towards you to get some truth. This person that they were dealing with was investigating their person, and now they're coming to you like it's your problem when it's actually theirs. Wow. All right, Virgos. So that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in my other reads, comments, um, actually, if you're interested in any of my reads on my other channel, then go ahead and support me by subscribing. It will be the Priestess of Reason on my other channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.